Hey everyone, it's Mailchop back at it with a Making Chaos Era video, and you all enjoyed my cha Tia Champion Guide so much that I'm here to do a William Champion Guide, um, because Pocket Queens in the comments below requested it on the last video, and I'm going to be making this sort of like a series, so whoever you know has the most upvoted comment, or the first one to post, um, depending on which or the other, uh, will get their champion featured in a champion showcase. Now, for William, I'll be going over what builds you want to go with, and what game modes he's great in, what game modes he's, you know, okay in. Because William really doesn't have a poor uh, area of the game uh, across the entire board. Um, so let's go ahead and head into William. And if you are enjoying these videos, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Now, we have William on my wife's account. Uh, I do not have him on my main account, sadly. He's probably the best character in the game, in my opinion. Um, he's definitely outclassed all the epics out there. And he honestly outclasses most of the legendaries out there, even the light-dark legendaries. I would prefer to start with him over any character in the entire game, personally. Um, so what makes him so good? Let's go ahead and do his base stats first off. So his base attack is at a, a B, and we don't really care about that. He's not gonna be doing much damage anyways. I mean, it would be nice to have him higher so we can do a little bit extra fluff damage, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Now we have A base health, A base defense. This is where it really shines because we really wanna build him tanky, uh, as you'll see later, and I'll explain more in depth. Um, so having a decent base HP base defense is important for someone like William. Um, unfortunately, that is, his speed is a little low. You would have liked to see a little higher base speed, maybe at 100 like Tia. Um, with the Ascension, it's going to go over to 108, which is not bad because you do kind of want him to go first um, in a lot of scenarios because of his ultimate ability. And I'll explain that, that in a little bit because uh, he will provide a lot when he's going first. And of course, uh, you want him going before the enemies for sure because of his uh, counterattack buff, which we'll see in a second. And, of course, crit rate doesn't matter because he's not damaged there. So, what makes William really, really good? Let's head into his abilities. First thing is, combat prowess, his trait. Basic abilities of all team members deal 50% more damage, and with the ascension, it's 80% more damage. Really, really simple. Best trait in the game, bar none. I don't think any trait really comes close to this, uh, to this trait. It's completely game-changing. It literally changes how you play within your team. You can change, for example, we have Nathalia with this, which is perhaps one of the best combinations with William, and she becomes a different character with William on your team. You literally don't even use one of her skills because the basic ability becomes so strong. It's an amazing trait. Really, really, really worth it putting potions in, which I will do later um, when I'm helping her build out some, some of the teams. Um, now, what's, what is this basic? We have deal 50% damage to an enemy and launches a joint attack with a random ally. So, you know, not too much damage with this basic. It's not quite 50% because of the 80% increase. So it should be roughly about 130% um, off his base attack. So decent damage, but you're not really building him for damage. So he's not going to do a lot of damage. The real kicker is uh, launches a joint attack. So let's say you are using with, with someone like Nathalia. Now you're doing an AOE uh, basic attack with William. So excellent basic. Um... Then we have a second skill, which is one of the most unique skills in the game. Grants one stack of counterattack to all team members and applies defense up two to the main target. So defense up two to the main target is okay. Um, it's not like super, super amazing because you're not getting it for the whole team. So who knows what the AI is going to put it on. I believe they put on the same one every time, but I'm not quite sure how uh, they choose to target that. But, you know, it's a nice additional. It's really about the counterattack. When attacked, counters using a basic ability. Pretty simple. But again, those basic abilities are going to be hitting really, really hard on William's team. So you put a counterattack on Nathalia. Boom. She's counterattacking with an AoE. It's really excellent. Amazing skill. Three turn cooldown. Awesome. Then we have Order Advance, his ultimate. And that is deal 100% damage to all enemies with 80% chance to apply defense down for two turns, which is one of the reasons why you're going to want him to go first. Because you're going to want to go, apply the defense down, then your team can go, deal extra damage. Pretty simple. But also, this also changes the way you're, we're going to build them, as you'll see later on, because we need to apply that debuff. So, really simple kit overall. Just applies counterattack, applies defense down, and then increases your damage overall. Really simple, but a complete game changer in your teams. And let's go ahead and showcase them in some of the areas. Before we go ahead and head into a campaign, I just want to go over a little bit of the builds that you're going to run around on them. I really only think that you need one type of build, and that is tank. Um, so how you're going to build them is going to be high tankiness, high focus, um, and high speed, hopefully. Um, you want to get high speed if you can. If you can't, that's fine. Um, just build them to survive. So here we have HP neck, uh, HP ring, and then we have speed boots, um, and then just focus where we can get it and just speed where we can get it, tanky stats where we can get it. And as you can see, we have 28.5% focus. I would have liked that to be about 50%, uh, but we, we're waiting for the gear enhancement event. So we're, we're not upgrading the focus as much as we would like. 160 speed, 
Again, we would like that higher. We're waiting for the gear enhancement event. 15k HP, 1500 defense. Really tanky. He's not going to die. Um, also to note, you really don't need to six star him, um, unless of course he's one of your most prominent team members. And then there's really no harm in six starring him. He's just going to become better overall, um, which is why we six start him on this account. Um, but you really don't need to, to six star him if you have a lot of other damage dealer priorities, um, because he already has such good base stats. All you need him is to survive and he's not dealing damage. So let's go ahead and, and head into the campaign now. All right. So we're heading into campaign right now. I'm going to have it on manual. That way I can show you exactly, um, how William is so good and why he is so good. Now, this is rated as a 10 for William. I think he's excellent campaign, complete game changer. We're going to go ahead and put the counterattack and defense up on Nathalia. That way she gets a ton of buffs. And I did end up putting potions into William. So now his trait is uh, fully ascended. And we're going to go into basic with Hydrasia just to show you how much increased damage you actually get. So 4,000 damage, as you can see from the basic from Nathalia, um, or from Hydrasia rather, really, really excellent. And we just got to wait until Nathalia goes. Um, and this is why I say he's such a complete game changer, is that he completely changes the way you actually play the game. Not only is he excellent, but he also changes how you should use your abilities. For example, we have 180% damage on the ultimate from Nathalia, 100% damage on the basic. However, with William's trait, it's 80% more. So they're doing the same amount of damage, but this also gains random stats up. So it's essentially like Nathalia is hitting with an ultimate every time and also gaining herself more buffs which is why she and William are one of the best combinations. And let's just go ahead and hit here and just show you how much damage it actually does. There we go. Clear out most of the wave. We don't have defense down or anything like that. And we don't have the trait on a Nathalia. If you do, that would one shot. It's an excellent combination. Really, really amazing. Complete game changer. Absolute 10 for campaign. Let's go ahead and head into arena. All right, so here we are in Arena, and I have Arena as a 7 and a 7 for both Arena offense and defense. The counterattacks uh, end up being quite nice on defense, although this definitely is his weakest game mode, in my opinion. I think he's not exactly an Arena character, although he can be used on arena in Arena offense for a defense down. Um, but I think he'd rather just have a better, a, a different character in there. Even though he does amplify the basics of the team members, I still think that you should just use your ultimates. Like, Arenas are usually typically like 1 to 2, 3 rounds. And you don't really need to use your basics often. So, which is why William kind of has subpar in uh, performance in Arena. Because he's all about, you know, supporting your team over the long run. Allowing them to do a ton of damage. So, let's go ahead and just, you know, use our ultimate here from Hydrasia. And you can see here, William, this isn't really a William showcase in Arena. Which is why I'm only going to do this one battle. He placed the defense down, which allowed you to, we, us to one-shot those two characters on the side. And that's really what you're using him for, is the defense down. Because the game should be, the arena battle should be over for most of you um, after after you play the defense down. But we can showcase the fact that Nathalia is going to do a ton of damage on her basic. And there's that. So, not too crazy. And we can go ahead and show the basic here. Hopefully we call uh, someone to assist. So yeah, we got Hydrosia to assist there. And so, you know, not particularly amazing or bad for Arena. Just, uh, you know, an average uh, to above average character in Arena. Which I think you'd rather have, like, a Zatlex in that position or a Tia if you happen to get the Battle Pass, etc. So let's go ahead and head over to uh, Void Tower and Endless Trials. So I am actually able to show you kind of how uh, this battle will play out because uh, we are on Void Tower Normal 460. Um, so I think a lot of players are, you know, part a little bit past this or starting out. Because uh, this is, you know, pretty di easy to get through if you're playing on manual. We're just going to auto it because this team is far and away enough to beat this stage. But William is uh, pretty decent in Void Tower. You know, he provides the defense down and you're going to want that because it's going to increase your damage. The counterattack, again, just boosts your damage. However, when you get to Void Tower hard, you're going to want tankier characters. A lot of the times in Poisons is the way to go. Real slow, real tanky, real a uh, lot of Poisons. CC is also the name of the game. So someone like Tia, someone like Myla. Um, are, you know, preferred characters. But, you know, he's definitely not bad. He's he's very usable, very good still uh, in Point Tower. So I read him as a 7. Uh, but you can see here what he's providing. The extra counterattacks, the extra defense down. There you go. We counterattack with a lot of damage there. And go ahead and turn Nathalia's skills off. I almost uh, let her just hit with the ultimate. But uh, the uh, basic is actually better because William's on the team. So you can see here, again, this is kind of like just a campaign stage uh, for the most part because... There isn't really anything to go with this stage. I'm going to go head you over to Endless Trials now because I think this is pretty self-explanatory with this one. So here are Endless Trials, and we're on level 60. We're not on level 70. That's okay. Um, it doesn't really matter because the point is the same, and that is William is a 10. 
absolute for this game mode. You're going to want to stack a bunch of damage on your artifacts with the Endless Trials. There's a lot of single target slash basic attack amplifying uh, artifacts in this game, like counterattack artifacts. There is, um, you know, possibly joint attack artifacts. All of those are excellent on William because he's going to be amplifying your, your basic attacks. So he's just an amazing character overall for this game mode. There's no doubt about it. You could use him in every one of your teams. It doesn't matter what affinity, if it's you know, wind, if it's fire, if it's water, it doesn't matter. He's excellent for this game mode. There really isn't any downside. And I'm not going to show you a battle because it's basically the same battle as I've done previously, why he's good. Um, but I think he's an absolute 10 for Endless Trials. Let's go ahead and head over to Guild Boss. So here we are at Guild Boss, and I have him rated as a 10 for the fire Guild Boss, a 10 for the water Guild Boss, and an 8 uh, slash 9. Um, I think he could be argued as a 9 for sure for the wood Guild Boss because the real difference with affinity is happens to damage others because you're going to deal 50% decreased damage um, when you're on the wrong affinity. And so, and uh, also an increased chance of deflection. So you're really going to lose a lot of damage um, when you're on the wrong affinity. But William doesn't isn't there for damage. He's to amplify the rest of your team. So he really does the exact same thing. He's just uh, you know a little harder to keep alive when you're on the wrong affinity. Um, and I think William is a staple in every single team. You should use him in every one of your go boss teams pretty much. Um, he's an amazing character. 10 for pretty much across the board, except for Wood. So now we move on to the dungeons, and these are the real heavy hitters. Um, I think William is an excellent uh, character for pretty much all the dungeons. Um, now, I don't have too much experience in Witch and Gemini, so I'm not going to really rate uh, those ones like I did in Tia, because I personally have not done too much Witch and Gemini um, extensively. Now, I also think that they're the least important dungeons. But for Tulpa, I am as a 7. For Ash, as a 10. And Queen, as a 7. Now, it's a pretty rare case uh, because he's one of the characters that elemental affinity doesn't really matter as much. Uh, and on top of that, he provides so much that he can fit into a lot of teams and still provide a lot of things. Um, now, for Topo, would I use him in 11 and 12 and same with Queens? Probably not. I would probably prefer a different character. But that doesn't mean when you're beginning out and you want to farm early 10, early 11, it doesn't mean you cannot use him because you're probably going to have him built if you have him. Now, for Ash... He's an absolute staple. Him combined with Nathalia builds one of the most uh, you know, standard and staple Ash Magisteria comps. And honestly, one of the easiest way to clear Ash Magisteria. And one of the reasons why a lot of people start with Ash, because a lot of people have Nathalia, they have William, and then a lot of people bought the battle pass with Blackhorn. And then you have basically your entire Ash Magisteria comp with the Rookie Summon of Hydrasia. So really, really excellent character with William and highly recommend you, you take on Ash. If you happen to pull William, it makes it so much easier. Now, what about the ability crystal dungeons? I pretty much have a 10 for him across the board because I think you can use them in every single one of them. Uh, Bane rank, you need extra attacks between joint uh, joint attacks with William and counter attacks. You're going to get that shield down. Flame Lizard the positive affinity and he's going to provide a lot. Flood is the positive fit or neutral affinity. He's going to provide a lot for your team. Um, and then the other ones, you're just going to get extra damage and just provide more and more uh, stats for your team. Um, so it's pretty simple. 10 across the board, usable. I would prefer to use them in every one of these dungeons uh, over a lot of other characters out there. Uh, so, <laughs> again, pretty amazing character William is if you happen to get him. And lastly, uh, what is his potion value? So I have a random as a 10. I think his trait is an absolute excellent trait, perhaps the best trait in the game. It completely changes how you are going about making your team and whether or not you're going to use your abilities on your team because the basic abilities perhaps might do more damage. For example, with Nathalia, uh, you don't even use your ultimate ever because it's just better to use the basic. And it completely changes the makeup of the team, how you how you actually go about using them. It's just an amazing trait. Uh, as you saw, I used two potions on William earlier. Do not regret it. It's going to provide so much for this account and absolutely amazing. Now, so what is the overall conclusion? Well, I'm going to go ahead and put my graphic up on screen to show you what my thoughts were across the whole video. Um, I have his overall rating as a 9, and I think that's absolutely correct. I think a nine, he's one of the best characters in the game. Um, I'm not finished with my tier list, but it will be coming out soon. Um, and I think he's gonna end up in the top three at the minimum. I think he's excellent. He really outclasses every other character out there in his versatility. He's literally the most versatile character in the game, uh, bar none. I don't think any other character is more versatile than him. Um, but I also think that he's excellent in class in specific character in areas of the game as well. So he's best in class as well as being super versatile 
in a lot of areas of the game. So excellent character. Highly recommend you, you invest resources into him. And if you do want to see another video uh, on the on a specific champion, be sure to leave a comment below and drop a like, subscribe, so you know if I'm making another champion guide out there. I have characters such as Blackhorn and Gengello even. So I have a couple of the more rare characters on, across some of the accounts. So I have a lot of options available to me. Just suggest something in the comments. If I can do it, I'll try. If I cannot, um, I'll let you know. But I'll see you for the next one.